Hello everyone. I thought I'd um, introduce you to Rwendo, my new sea kayak. Doesn't she look beautiful? I'm over the moon with her. Absolutely beautifully constructed and uh, a huge amount of space. Absolutely uh, volum voluminous. Or just got plenty of volume in other words so uh i'll show you in here so that's uh, a cockpit cover which i'll use just to put on in the evenings uh, that's the cockpit and uh, that's what the spray deck fits around put a very very comfortable seat probably the most comfortable seat i've ever sat in and steven's done a fantastic job Stevens, the chap who, who constructed the boat, done a fantastic job in padding her out. So very, very comfortable, very firm backrest. I feel like I'm, you know, feel like I'm wearing the kayak, which is really good. Um, good footrests down there. And when he built the boat, he um, he brought. To my specifications i asked him to do this he, he actually brought the, the bulkhead the four compartment bulkhead back a bit because i've got short legs so i don't i don't need a lot of space in the cockpit so he was able to bring that back which gave me more room in the four compartment to pack and he also built a, a bigger deck compartment as well for me um, which is going to be very very useful so Going to the forward compartment, this is uh, the bow compartment. So it's enclosed. Once this is on, this is a waterproof um, hatch cover. Uh, so when that's on, the sea won't leak into it. And in here I've got, up, up here I've got my a tapered a dry bag. Uh, these are dry bags, waterproof bags. A tapered dry bag which has got all my clothes in, uh, all the clothes I need for my trip, including spare jumpers and, um, uh, you know, lots of warm clothes. And then my sleeping bag is, is up here, packed here. And um, my sleeping bag, I've got my waterproof jacket. Uh, so I've got some more warm clothes, a fleece and what have you. That's a, a bivy bag, a sleeping mat, um, and still plenty of room. All, all my um, essentials like that are in, in the front there, still plenty of room. Then I've got my middle compartment, which we sometimes call the day hatch or the day compartment. And as you can see, it's virtually empty. <laughs> this is where I keep all my electrical items, um, batteries and um, charges and other, other essential equipment. Um, and in my old car, I used to put my cooker in here and, and the fuel and everything. But uh, this time that's uh, all packed in here. So I've got in the stern compartment, that's the tent. Uh, I use a Wild Country Quasar, so it's a fairly large tent. Uh, got my cooker. I've got a little wood burning stove as well that I use. I've got three, le three liters of fuel up there. Um, I've got my tent poles up, up in the stern up here. And I've got um, my walking poles, which I've never taken on a trip before but I thought I'd take my walking poles because my balance isn't as good as it used to be and I often need some support when I go over what rough ground and I have a, a, a small camp chair as well which I, I love to sit on in the evenings so that's that and as you can see there's still tons of room in there for food so this is virtually empty Loads of room in there, still room in the, in the forward compartment. And then in the deck compartment here, I've got um, a repair kit, 
for the kayak if um, if she's damaged at all. So uh, that's all in there. Uh, I've got some. Uh, I've got a, a handheld flare, and I've got a an orange smoke as well. If I needed to summon assistance. And then during the day, I have uh, this on my deck, called the deck bag, and um, that fits this. Comes apart there and slides underneath the um, the bungees, and that sits on my deck. And then on top of that, there's a compass which is which clips into these little extenders that I've created. And in this I'll have my thermos with uh, my tea, I'll have my lunch and snacks in there. Um, I forgot to say I've got my first aid kit in there as well. So that's that's handy. And um, yeah, just any other emergency stuff I might need through the day. Um, this I've created so I can clip my GPS onto. Uh, just uh, I use a GPS for um, just my my log trip log really. Um, that's just there for anything I need to clip on. Um, for my map. I have a a spray deck with bungees on, and so my map normally sits on on that. And then I have my buoyancy aid, of course, and inside my buoyancy aid, I've got my VHF radio and. Um, my personal locator beacon and a camera then on my back I've got a water bag which I use for um, for fresh water when I'm paddling drinking and then uh, the spare paddles would go into here into um, the, the shafts would go into there and the paddles would be here the blades would be here so there's my spare paddles and then I've obviously used the paddles that I'm using. So you can see there's an incredible amount of room. Um, and she's a beautiful boat. <laughs> she's a Manta. Built by Big Pond Kayaks. And um, yeah. So there we are. And I'm going to show you more about her and show you how I pack her as the trip progresses. But there you are, there's the introduction to Ruendo. I'm very, very happy. Very. Uh, she's also very, very stable, a very, very stable boat. Um, incredibly seaworthy. When I paddled her back from the Isle of Man, when I collected her, you know, immediately we bonded. That sounds rather fanciful, but it's true. You know, I felt very comfortable in her and um, very safe, particularly when uh, the sea was quite choppy. You know, she, she was very seaworthy, held the sea very well. So, very pleased. Ha, 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 ha.